please pause the video and read the question completely so the question says eight students are sitting around a circular table equidistant from each other facing the center this is how eight people can be separated equidistant from each other it's given that b and d sit neither adjacent to c nor opposite to c right now we cannot mark it out of nowhere so let's go to the next one a sits in between e and d now a sits in between e and d there can be two possibilities where e can be at the left or right so let's draw both the possibilities next f sits in between b and h now there is three possibilities for f in the first circle itself so there will be three more possibilities for the second circle as well the three possibilities are right here here and here so i'm going to draw three different circles for these three possibilities we'll have to draw two more circles for this possibility as well so we have jotted down all the possibilities now let's move to the next one f sits in between b and h so let's mark b and h on either sides of f if we backtrack to the first statement the first statement said that b and d sit neither adjacent to c nor opposite to c let's fill the position in the first circle let's say b is sitting here now c will not have a position here and here as well which will leave no place for c so b here will not be possible this has to be h and this has to be b now we know that this place is occupied by c and this should be occupied by g so this is one possibility likewise we'll have to check for all the circles now let's consider the second circle let's say b is sitting in this position so c will not be possible here since it is opposite to b and it won't be able to occupy here as well since it is opposite to d which will leave no place for c so this has to be h and this will be b now we can say that this position will be occupied by g and this by c moving on to the next circle please remember the statements with which we are eliminating because b and d should neither be opposite nor be adjacent to c with that we can say this cannot be c and this cannot be c if b had occupied the position so this has to be b and this has to be h now there is a place for c to occupy and g here let's check this circle c cannot occupy this position because it's adjacent to d and if you consider b in this position c cannot occupy here as well so there is no place for c which is not possible so this has to be h and this has to be b this will be c and this will be g for this circle let's say this position is occupied by b which will leave no place to c again this cannot be c and this cannot be c since they are adjacent to both b and d so this position has to be h and this has to be b now this can be occupied by c and this by g moving on to the last circle if this is b this cannot be c and this cannot be c as well so we'll have to eliminate this and we know now that this has to be occupied by h where this will be b this will be c and this will be g now we have all the possible arrangements all we have to do is find out which one of the given options are definitely right to find that out we'll have to check if the statement is true in all the cases option a says b sits in between a and g which is not true in all cases so let's eliminate a c sits opposite to g which is also not true in all cases so let's eliminate b option c says e sits opposite to f this also is not true in all the cases so let's eliminate that as well so d says none of the above so none of the above will be the answer therefore option d is the right answer